Welcome to Rigaku webinar, Operando measurement of lithium ion battery with smart lab system. My name is Maciej Grzywa. I'm the XRD application scientist at Rigaku Europe SE. For the questions, please use the question and answer Q&A option. After the presentation, the questions asked uh, will be answered. Let me introduce the speaker, Takayuki Konya. Takayuki is a product marketing manager at Rigaku Europe SE, and he used to be responsible for smart lab system development at Rigaku Japan in Tokyo. I will hand over to Takayuki to continue, continue the webinar. Hi. Hello, everyone. I am Takayuki Konya, product marketing manager of Rigaku Europe SE. I worked over than 10 years in Rigaku Tokyo as application laboratory manager. And now I am working in Germany for new, new developments, mainly for XRD system. Today, I would like to talk about operando measurement of lithium ion uh, battery with smart lab system. This is outline of today's presentation. Nowadays, lithium ion battery, uh, batteries are used in various fields such as mobile phones, personal computers, and electric vehicles, and there is a demand for longer lifetime and higher capacity. So there is a lot of research on lithium ion batteries. As you know, one of the most important research tools is X-ray deflection. At first, I introduced some XRD equipments of Rigaku and solution for battery research. After that, I make introduction of our battery cell attachment and some applications. It also includes an introduction of our software, Smart Lob Studio 2. Rigaku battery solutions with XRD. In general, safety and reliability, as well as various performance requirements, such as a high capacity, fast charge discharging, and long lifetime is demanded. In order to achieve these goals, it is essential to search for new materials, control the structure of powders, elucidate, they elucidate the reaction mechanism in batteries, identification of degradation factors and development production technologies. So we want to provide a solution to these challenges with Rigaku technologies. X-ray deflection is well used in development of few uh, new materials. This figure show you one example of general flow of making solid electrolyte. The general flow is to mix and grind the starting raw materials and sinter the pellet in the same way as the synthesis of ceramics. In each process, the quality and basic properties of synthetic materials, determination of uh, optimum synthesis temperature, and clarification of the reaction mechanism are closely related to the performance of the battery. X-ray technique is used for checking these properties. This picture show, show, shows our XRD equipment for battery analysis. SmartLab is flagship model of Ligaco XRD product. This enables measurement of qualitative analysis to operando measurement and crystal structure solutions. It also can select uh, Johansson K alpha one optics for high resolution measurement. Smart Lab SE is middle range XRD system mainly focusing on powder measurement. So both of two, Smart Lab and Smart Lab SE can put the operando uh, battery cell. On the figure right, uh, right side is a benchtop type X-ray diffractometer, uh, Miniflex. 
Miniflex is uh, mainly focusing on the powder uh, diffractometry, like a uh, uh, qualitative analysis to on the quantitative analysis. But also, so we can put the, like a thermal uh, changeable or temperature attachment on here. And so here is a, a picture of the detectors. Regaku offers two dimensional detector and one dimensional detector. In the case of the operand measurement, 2D detector is effective for getting first changing phase transition behavior within operand measurement. In the case of 2D detector, we can get the device share ring information, which includes preferred orientation information and so on. Difference between Hypix 3000 and Hypix 400 is detection area. Hypix 3000 have large detection area, which enable to get wider measurement range at one exposure. Both of 2D and 1D detector have a function of XRF reduction mode. It enable to reduce high background as iron containing sample in copper radiation measurement. Smart Lab Studio 2 is software suite for measurement and analysis. Customer can select analysis plugin as shown in this figure. Powder plugin includes function of phase identification, quantification, crystallite size analysis, crystallinity, and crystal structure analysis. Stress plugin is for residual stress analysis. Sax plugin is for particle or pore size analysis with small angle X-ray scattering data. Thin film plugin includes X-ray reflectivity analysis and high resolution rocking curve analysis and so on. Texture plugin is for pore fever and ODF analysis. PDF plugin is for PDF analysis. Next, I want to explain about some measurement and analytical techniques of XR XRD related with battery materials. This figure shows example of solid phase reaction during sinter sintering process. For example, to synthesize cathode materials such as manganese, cobalt, lithium, nickelite, nickelate, so NMC. These start, starting, starting low materials can be mixed and centered in a given mole ratio to obtain the desired materials. The profile at each temperature were measured with high temperature attachment. As shown in this figure, a single phase NMC was obtained at 1000 degrees centigrade and did not decompose at the room temperature. By investigating the uh, sintering process, it is possible to observe the uh, so solid solution temperature of the target phases. Next step is to check the impurity phase. After synthesizing, uh, synthesizing the uh, cathode material, lithium ion phosphate, LFP, we checked for impurity phases. As a result of XRD measurement, the impurity phase of iron phosphide was identi identified in addition to LFP phase. It was found that approximately 2% of the iron phosphate was contained as a result of quantitative analysis. In this technique, it is possible to understand whether the target material has been synthesized correctly and whether there are any impurities or not. Next technique is evaluation of crystallized site. In the XRD profile, it may be qualitatively evaluated that a narrow peak width has high crystallinity and a wide peak width in indicates low crystallinity. It can be quantitatively evaluated by calculating the crystallized site. Crystallite is domain that can be uh, regarding, regarded as a single crystal separated by the grain boundary inside of particle, as shown in this figure. 
For example, if two LFP powders are synthesized and have different widths in XRD pattern, the FP method, this FP meaning the fundamental parameter, fundamental parameter method can be used to calculate the crystallite size distribution based on the difference in the peak width and shapes. As a result of the analysis, the distribution diagram was obtained. And the appearance frequency crystal size were 977 angstrom for the LFP1 and 422 angstrom for LFP2. Next step is crystal structure analysis. The crystallographic parameter as a, a lattice constant and atomic coordinates of synthesized sample are provided by Ritubet analysis. Ritubet analysis is one of profile fitting analysis for defining the crystal structures. For example, in the case of LFP, the lattice constant was calculated as uh, a, uh, a, a was calculated as 10.32. Ongstrom, B was 6.01 Ongstrom, and C was uh, 4.69 Ongstrom. And the atomic coordinates information are calculated for each atom. If elements are uh, sol solidly soluble, these parameters will change. The difference in distance between atoms and other parameters will be appeared. From the atomic coordinate information obtained from the retrograde analysis, the interatomic distance can be calculated and the lithium ion diffusion path and valence can be estimated by using the B BVS analysis. BVS is bond valence sum analysis, which can easily evaluate the uh, oxi oxidation state or valence from the interatomic distances. For example, based on the result obtained from the Ritubet analysis, the BVS calculation shows that lithium is almost uni univalent and iron is almost divalent. In addition, the diffusion path of lithium ion is found, found to be curved as shown in the figure. Thus, it is possible to evaluate the lithium ion diffusion path and balance easily from the calculation. Battery materials often operate in a glow box because the materials can easily uh, re react with water and oxygen. In order to measure the XRD under the same environment as in the glow box, we have developed new airtight sample holder. Using airtight sample holder, it is possible to fill the sample in the glow box with inlet gas and transport to the XRD system to measure. This figure shows one example of XRD measurement with airtight sample holder. Lithium TO hospate was used as a sample for the, uh, the airtight test. This sample is well-known sulfide-based solid electrolyte, and this material easily reacts with water in the atmosphere. This uh, the, the sample was filled in a glow box and measured on dates 0, 1, and 2. From the comparison among the three data, profile were not changed. In other words, it does not react with water indicating high air tightness. Next, I would like to explain about crystal structure evaluation with PDF analysis. PDF is pair distribution function, which is method for analyzing the distance structure of sample, regardless of its crystalline line state. It is used for local structure analysis of crystalline materials, and structure analysis of amorphous, amorphous and nanomaterials. Basically, after measurement of the XRD profile, it converts to the PDF profile by using inverse Fourier transform. 
this PDF profile was obtained from liquid argon. In the case of PDF analysis, silver or Morris source as a sh short wavelength X-ray source was used. The horizontal axis shows the interatomic distance and the vertical axis shows the uh, deviation from the uh, relative density. The interatomic distance reflects the distance from a focus focused atom to a particular atom. For example, the first peak shown in red reflects the distance between the uh, light blue atoms and the red atoms. Peaks shown in blue indicate the second pro proximately and green indicate the third proximately information. In addition, the following information can be obtained by PDF profile. This is an example of local structure analysis of spinel type lysine manganese, manganate as a cathode material by using PDF analysis. The crystal structure of lysine manganate could be cubic or orthorhombic. It is depend on the order of mangan 3 plus and mangan 4 plus. In the case of little bit analysis, it is difficult to find significant differences in similar structure because the little bit of fitting is on the average structure. So we perform PDF analysis as distance structure sensitive analysis. XRD profile also contains background information and it includes it, uh, it includes local structure information. We put cubic and also lombic model for PDF fitting. In the case of retubate analysis, reliability factor R is almost similar, but in the case of PDF analysis, R factor of uh, also lombic model is smaller, smaller than that of cubic model. From this result, we can understand that this uh, structure is also lombic. If sample has difference uh, in the local structure, the PDF crystal analysis should be powerful too. Next example is analysis of platinum carbon nanoparticle. This sample is used as a crystallite, a, a catalyst for fuel cell battery. As shown in this figure, the profile width of nanoparticles tends to be broad and big width. In this case, it is difficult to get lattice constant information with little bit analysis. So we try to use PDF analysis for this sample. The lattice constant can be calculated from the PDF pattern fitting. In addition, since nanoparticles have a small sequence of atoms, it is possible to calculate the approximate, approximate nanoparticle size by analyzing how far the period of the PDF pattern continues. The analytical results of particle size is almost the same result as SACS small angle X-ray scattering result. In this technique, it is possible to analyze even nanoparticle size in addition to the lattice constant. Next explanation is introduction of uh, our battery cell attachment. Many researchers measure their own batteries with operando measurement for research of battery materials. Many of them use synchrotron X-ray facility because of its high flux on, of X-ray. On the other hand, if operand measurement is available in laboratory source X-ray diffraction system, it is very useful. In this decade, XRD equipment enables high-speed detector as one or 2D semiconductor detector, high power X-ray source, and other optics. Nowadays, operand measurement is available in laboratory source XRD system. This picture shows you one example of operand measurement with smart lab system. Smart lab can connect directly to charge discharging device with, with cable 
and measure simultaneously charge, discharge, and XRD profile. Smart Lab Studio 2 software have a trigger I.O. function for external device. In the XRD measurement, reflection geometry and transmission geometry are available. Open other measurement is important to confirm the reaction mechanism on battery degradation when operated as a battery, which is measurement of X XRD within a charge discharging process. Bigaku offers the react, reflect, reflection, and transmission attachment to perform operand measurement. In the, reflective, uh, in the reflection type uh, battery cell, so we offer two types of battery cells by electrolyte. electrolyte. One, of, one is for rated electrolyte, and the other is for all solid battery. The unique, the unique feature of these cells are that it can be used both as a current collector foil and an X-ray uh, window, making it easy to observe peaks de derived from active, active materials. In the case of a transmission type, the pouch cell, which is often used in other tests, can be inserted directly into the attachment. In addition, in the case of the transmission method, information of both cathode and anode materials can be observed. Next is operand measurement applications. This figure shows the schematic view of reflection battery cell. The cathode material is mounted on aluminum current collector, which is also work as X-ray window. Put the separator, glass filter, and anode spacer and rated electrolyte inside. This cell is mounted in center of XRD system. This is a result of measurement of lithium nickel manganate using battery cell with reflection mode method. Within a charging process, XRD peak positions are uh, shifted to higher angle. Also, in the uh, uh, discharging process, X-ray peaks are shifted to lower Tsushita angle. Smart Lab Studio 2 software can easily change the XRD view from multiple X XRD pattern mode to current counter map. In the right side map, it is e easy to visually see the changes in the peak position. In the case, in this case, Phase A changed to the phase B. After that, phase B changed to the phase C sequentially. In summary, we were able to observe such a phase transition processes, and it was confirmed that the material proceeded in two phase coexistence reaction. This is the result of lithium nickel, nickel mangan cobalt oxide. This called NMC. Within a charging process, peak position of NMC003 was shifted to lower two theta angle, and NMC101 was shifted to the higher two theta angle. From these results, the crystal structure of NMC was stable, but lattice constant is changed within charge discharge process. After overland measurement of NMC, lattice constants were calculated with Smart Lab Studio 2. Left side figure shows a plot of lattice constants during charge discharging process. From the results, A axis decreased, C axis increased, and then decreased during the charging. A axis is degrading due to balance change of trans, trans, uh, transition metals with oxide, oxidization. C axis is includes due to Coulomb repulsion among oxygen atom associated with relate, release of lithium ion atoms. When 
the release of resin uh, diminishes, so C axis degrees due to the stronger effect uh, of lower balance of transition metals. Now, all solid battery is expected as high capacity and safety for uh, automobile. This figure is schematic view of all solid battery. In the charge discharge process of all solid batteries, these kinds of phenomena will be occurred inside of battery. Expansion and contraction were occurred with, within charge discharge process and its effect as a particle destruction feeling at surface, void among particle, and inter, uh, internal destruction as a clock. One of the most important points for all solid battery is constraint pressure. So we develop all solid battery type operand cell with constraint pressure function. This is a measurement of anode graphite using uh, operand cell for all solid batteries. A certain amount of pressure is required to op operate a solid state battery and as shown in the figure, this, this cell can be pressurized with the torque wrench. In the operand XRD measurement of the anode graphite, it was observed that the stage structure of recent insertion and extraction in the graphite was observed from the peak shear. Profile transition of graphite originated from stage structure were observed during the charge and discharging processes. This figure shows the photo, one of, well, example of photo of power cell attachment. This attachment is used for transmission methods. Normally, in the case of the reflection method, polarization and covalentization is often used. But in the case of transmission method, Short wave breaks like uh, uh, MOLI and copper uh, is used cause of transmission availability. This table shows the comparison, uh, uh, comparison of transmitted intensity of each wavelength. So this is one movie of, for the measurement with power cell attachment with Smart Lab Studio 2 software. So initially, it puts a pouch cell so inside of the cell, uh, attachment and uh, puts the attachment so center of the uh, goniometer. And so move the two seater angle to the suitable position. And in this, this uh, in this case, so that uh, from the dis distance, so uh, we capture angle is a 30 degree. And uh, connection uh, connects the uh, uh, cathode reference electro electrode and anode uh, cable to the uh, battery cell. And this is a uh, measurement data, both of the 2D and 1D data. As you can see, understand. So within the charging and discharging process, the peak is, is shifted. And in a smart lab studio do software, uh, can uh, change it easily is uh, from the normal profile to the color contact map. And also, uh, this software have a, a, a function of the uh, combine the uh, charge discharging profile to the X-ray diffraction profile. After combined, so uh, uh, like we can make uh, this kind of the uh, movie, like uh, uh, related simultaneously both of the uh, charge discharging curve to the XRD profile. The following are the results of measurement using the transmission method for pouch cell attachment. By using the transmission method, it is possible to observe both information of cathode and anode material. The figure on the left is obtained XRD profile. The figure right side is a color contour map view. This view is easy to understand the profile shift. This figure shows that the peak of cathode material NMC shift to the low two-seater angle. 
within a charging. And this means that lattice is expanding. In addition, the uh, a node graphite was able to confirm the uh, formation of state structure. In the development of battery, one of the important points is fast chargeable function. But also, we must understand what is happening inside of battery if charge discharge ratio is changed. This is operant measurement example of LFP cathode material battery. One measurement spans 10 seconds. The reaction formula is shown in, in this figure. In the case of 1D, 1C charging, so the peak intensity of lithium ion phosphate was increased and that of iron phosphate was decreased. This figure shows a plot of peak intensity. In the case of the 3C, this is a three times faster charging than 1C. Almost same behavior was observed, but in the case of 5C, clear intensity changing is not obtained. It considers that correct reaction was not occur when charging ratio is fast as 5C. This figure show you the mapping function for pouch cell measurement. And the large battery, so in some case, it suggested about the variation inside of the sample. This kind of the variation causes quality problem of batteries. With using this attachment, XRD patterns are automatically measured at several positions. Customer can set the mapping conditions from Smart Lab 32 software. In the case, we measure two pouch, uh, in this case, so we measure two pouch cell battery sample includes lithium carbon. After measurement, the software shows the result, uh, results of lithium carbon 6 to lithium carbon 12 ratio at each position. If some problem occurs in battery, this mapping function is helpful to understand what happened inside. And summary. So today I explained about uh, our Ligaku XRD system, mainly focusing on the uh, Smart Lab and Smart Lab SE system. With so uh, this uh, our Ligaku XRD system offers battery analysis solutions. Also, uh, various kinds of battery cells like a uh, uh, liquid type uh, battery cell and all solid type battery cell and pulse cell type battery cell are available with smart lab system. In the case of smart lab, so uh, we can use a Hypix 3000 detector. So this Hypix 3000 detector enables fast operant measurement. So because of the large, cam uh, large so, uh, measurement uh, uh, field. And so smart lab can connect directly a charge discharging device. Also, so after measurement, so Smart Lab Studio 2 offers the uh, combined XRD data with charge and discharging curve. So uh, for the uh, uh, analysis of the battery uh, of the in operando measurement, so this function is very useful to understand what's happened inside. So this is the last slide of my presentation. So uh, uh, I'm also working in Germany. So uh, if you have the chance to come to Germany, so please uh, uh, talk about, make a discussion. And also uh, now my uh, task is like a, a product marketing manager. So uh, for uh, development, uh, new technology. So if you have the, any uh, demands or information, so please let me, know, let us know. So thank you for your attention. Thank you, uh, Takayuki for the very interesting talk. I see that we have some questions. Uh, mm -hmm. I will start with the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the FP method? Ah, FP method, okay. So I, I will show you. 
this one. So uh, FP method is a fundamental parameter method. So this means, so uh, uh, in a, uh, our software, so uh, if after measurement, so uh, the measurement data includes the uh, many information like uh, uh, which kinds of optics and which wavelength and which size of streets uh, and so on. So from the uh, these kinds of uh, information of the optics, so uh, uh, software automatically calculates the shape of the profile. And so uh, uh, this software uses uh, this uh, function of the uh, FP method and uh, also, our uh, Ligaku software also uh, can uh, get the information of the uh, size distribution of the crystallites. So this is uh, like a one unique uh, point of Ligaku uh, software. Uh, the second question uh, which I have, um, is mm -hmm. it possible to use a silver source on a smart lab? Ah, you mean the uh, on a smart lab? So you in the yes, smart lab, yeah. Okay, exactly. So uh, basically, so uh, in the case uh, in this broad uh, presentation, I show you the uh, PDF analysis. So in this case, so I use the uh, silver uh, source, and so smart lab have uh, uh, two funk uh, two uh, two system like a. Uh, one is a uh, uh, tube uh, X-ray source system, and also another one is rotating anode type. So we can offer the uh, silver source for the both of uh, shield tube and rotating anode. So if so, customer selects a rotating anode, of course, and so uh, the intensity is higher than that of shield tube. So and also uh, we offer the a uh, convergent beam. So this is a uh, uh, useful for the getting the high and the uh, a high intensity and high resolution for transmission if diffraction or PDF data. So uh, we offer the uh, this mirror, both of the MORI or uh, silver. So we can so use the uh, MORI source and also the silver source in a smart lab system. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, the another question is, uh, what kind of charge discharge system can be connected to uh, to the system, to the smart lab? Ah, ha, ha, ha. you mean the uh, charge discharging system? system. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Mm. So uh, this is uh, one example of the charge discharging device. So uh, now, so we offer the, uh, the special cable uh, connecting to the smart lab to the charge discharging device. So uh, now, so we can offer the, for the biologic system and also uh, the Hokuto Denko, this is a Japanese company. And, but of course, and so uh, many customer have uh, uh, some, some uh, another equipment of the uh, manufacturer. So in that case, so please contact to us so uh, uh, in, in, if uh, after we check the specification of the charge discharging uh, device, and so uh, in this case, so uh, uh, we offer the something like a special cable. So uh, please, uh, in this case, please contact us. But, but so if so, uh, you use the, a biologic system or Hokuto Denko system, so we can offer the cable easily. Yes, uh, the, ne the next question, is that for the data which you presented, uh, this uh, PDF data, uh, did you use mm -hmm. uh, molybdenum source or silver source? Uh, which, which data? So, uh, uh, PDF? Yes, PDF. Ah, PDF. For PDF, so uh, uh, in this time, so I use a uh, silver source. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah also, so uh, in, in this time, so this is uh, mainly, uh, this presentation is focusing on the battery measurement. So, but so uh, if so, uh, uh, customer uh, the need need is uh, many needs from or for the uh, uh, applications of PDF analysis. So I will so plan to make another uh, presentation a uh, webinar for the PDF analysis. In that case, so I can explain about the uh, difference between the body and silver or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I have another question. What kind of optic is used uh, with uh, molybdenum for mapping a battery pouch? Uh, with uh, uh, mapping pouch, yeah, okay. Yeah. 
this one yes exactly uh -huh. so uh, in this case so uh, i use uh, a convergent beam because and so convergent beam so this is like a, a, a focusing beam for the, the, the a beam is focusing on the detector surface so this is because and so uh, we want to get the high intensity uh, and also the uh, high uh, high resolution so and in the case this case uh, the mapping so we use the small slit inside and the height limiting slit and something and the small inside side and so uh, measure the mapping mm -hmm. Okay, and I have also one question. What is the difference between all solid battery cell and normal battery cell? Ah, uh -huh. you, you mean the uh, battery, yeah, okay. Battery yeah. cell. So, uh, uh, battery, for, uh, battery cell, so this is uh, 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 developed for the liquid uh, battery. So like, uh, so we use uh, electrolytes, so with a uh, liquid electrolyte. So on the other hand, in a case of all solid battery cell, so important point is so uh, the uh, constraint uh, pressure. So uh, we ad adapt the uh, pressure functionality, and also this you you can see this one. This is a, a sensor for the pressure, and so you can see this one. So this one. So uh, in the case of the solid battery, so if so changes the uh, uh, pressure range, so uh, it's in many cases, so uh, the uh, property is changes. So uh, we adapt the torque range here, and so it's inside here, so we can check the uh, how large the pressure inside. So this is a very important for the uh, operand, uh, no, uh, all solid battery, and also, uh, you can see the uh, 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 size of the window is smaller than that of the uh, liquid type battery. So uh, th this is so because also the uh, for the uh, pressure. Mm -hmm. I have another question. What software did you use to determine the crystallite size distribution through the fundamental parameter method? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, you mean so? So fundamental parameter, ah, okay, this one. So uh, this is uh, using the Smart Robot Studio 2 software. So our software has the functionality of the profile fitting. So profile fitting includes uh, like a, a profile fitting of the of various page, uh, peaks and also uh, like uh, using the uh, whole powder pattern fitting. So in the, uh, both of the profile fitting methods of uh, Smart Robot Studio 2 software, uh, have a function of the uh, crystallite size distribution uh, analysis uh, uh, function. So uh, we I use uh, uh, Smart Robot Studio too. This is uh, uh, our software. Mm -hmm. And I have one uh, last question uh, here. Um, the the smart lab uh, smart lab diffractor meter can you also use for uh, mm, capillary measurements. Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I show you the uh, picture of goniometer. Ah, <laughs> this is small, but so uh, in, in, the, in here, so uh, uh, easy way, easy way, so uh, something like a photo inside. So wait a moment. Ah, okay. So here is uh, now, so uh, I put the battery cell attachment center. So, uh, but in the case of the capillary measurement, so just we change it, uh, open this and put the capillary rotation attachment here. And so transmission X-ray has come here. And so uh, in the case of smart lab system, so uh, uh, this, uh, 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 this goniometer have the Z axis for the height alignment. In the software, smart lab guide, uh, smart lab study two, so automatically uh, check the uh, center position of the capillary. So uh, yeah, you can use your capillary rotation stage with smart lab. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Takayuki, do you have some remarks? Uh, or... uh, ha, ha, ha. And so uh, uh, as I mentioned initially, so I work over, uh, over than the 10 years in Japan. 
and now I'm staying in Germany. And so to find the, uh, something new technology and a new uh, solution for customers. So if you have the, uh, any demands and so any experience, I want to hear you, your uh, voice. So uh, in this case, so please contact us. Yeah, thank you. Okay, then I would like to thank you all for the participation. Uh, for other webinars, please visit the Rigaku website. Upcoming new webinars are being added regularly on our site. And yeah, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Yeah, bye-bye.